Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to continue where we left off with our platformer tutorial series. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this tutorial series, go ahead and click on this link to visit the playlist. Alright, so last episode, we made it so that the enemies can damage and kill the player. This episode, we're going to make it so the player can kill the enemies. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get the latest updates whenever I publish a new tutorial video. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make a public function in our enemy script. Public void hurt. So this will be similar to our enemy or our player hurt, except instead of destroying the level and restarting it, we're going to destroy ourselves. Uh, we might want to play some particle effects or an animation to signify the enemy's death later, but uh, for now, just for functionality's sake, let's just go ahead and destroy this guy right away. So to do that, we say destroy this game object. All right, so now for the final part of this puzzle, we're going to go back to the player controller. Uh, and in here, we're going to do something else. Instead of just hurting the player, we're going to check uh, the point of contact between the player and the enemy, see which way the normal is facing. Um, if it's facing up, that means that we landed on top of the enemy, and in that case we want to kill him, just like you would in Mario if you're hitting a Goomba. Else, if you get hit on the sides, meaning the, the uh, enemy ran into you, uh, then we want to take damage instead of killing the enemy. Alright, so in here, after we've determined that we've indeed hit an enemy, we're going to want to uh, loop through all of the collision points, because it is possible that we're able to hit the enemy multiple times in the same frame at different points. Um, it's rare, but it, it's possible, so we're going to want to account for that with a for each loop. For each contact point, 2D, whoops, 2D, and we'll call this point in collision.contacts. And inside this for each loop, we're going to do some checks, but um, first I want to do a debug.drawline. And let's just see uh, where these contacts are pointing out, where what the normal is. Uh, so we're going to draw a line from the point of contact, point dot point. And all of this, uh, I'm using a few Unity built-in functions, so if you don't know what any of these are, um, feel free to type it out and hover over it. Right here you can see that it gives a little description of what it is. Or if you go to the Unity reference, which you can get to by... Uh, clicking on any uh, game object with a script on it and hitting this little question mark book uh, and then paste in the class that you're not sure about or what it does. Uh, so in here you can find like, oh, okay, the, the point 2D class, it has a point uh, variable in it which returns a vector 2 which is the point in space um, of the collision. Uh, so that's what we're getting. Uh, so let's grab that and then that'll be our starting point for the line and uh, for the end point of the line we're going to want to start from the same place and go to point dot normal so this will shoot out a little line uh, in the normal direction of the collision and let's make it last for whoops we gotta add it give it a color let's make it red and make it last for 10 seconds otherwise it's just gonna pop up for one frame and we won't be, won't be able to see it. Uh, whoop, and I'm going to increase my health really high just so I can get a bunch of these collision points. Alright, so there you see whoop, if I jump and land on a guy man, let me let me follow the player a little better. Uh, if you double tap F in here, it'll follow whatever game object you have selected in the scene view up here, which is super useful for debugging. Uh, so it looks like every single one of our normals is pointed up, which is not what we want. Um, hmm. Alright, that's more like it. Alright, so those normals pointed up is probably because the 
enemy collider is touching our box collider like this and getting a hit on the top. Uh, so let's change our player collision player box collision to be thinner and longer. Oops, don't do that. There we go. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and give that another shot, see where our collisions are. So you see we are in fact hitting him twice. Uh, that's why we were taking two hits of damage before, is because the circle was hitting him and then the box was hitting him. So now that we know that um, our normals are working fairly correctly, we could also do a, a debug.log of the normal itself, just say point.normal, uh, and that'll give us a value that we can use to check against. So if we hit them on top, you'll see that it hits a, a, a positive 1 in Y and a 0 in uh, X. If we hit them from the side, we get a 1 in Y, and or a negative 1 in Y, and a 0 in Y, or sorry, a positive or negative 1 in X, and then a 0 in Y. Uh, so pretty much what we want to see, or what we want to check for in our script, is if Y is 1, meaning we jumped on top of him, then we want to kill the enemy. Else, if anything else happens, either the enemy jumped on us or hit us from the side, then we want to take the damage. Uh, so let's go ahead and write an if statement in here uh, and say if point.normal.y is greater than or equal to uh, 0.9. Uh, let's just give it a 0.1 margin of error just in case um, because it is possible to land like on an angle with this uh, with the circle and get uh, up vector that isn't perfectly one, uh, so we want to still allow us to kill the enemy if that's the case. If we jump on him, then we're going to want to hurt him. Else, uh, if he jumped on us, then we're going to want to get hurt. Uh, yeah, else um, the enemy. Oops. Dot hurt is what we're going to want to do. So now, if we play the game and we jump on an enemy, he dies. Uh, but you see, we also kind of just fall flat down, which is a little boring. Uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little pop up once we uh, kill an enemy. So, in order to bounce off of our enemy's head, let's go ahead and make a new vector 2 uh, and call it velocity and set it equal to my body dot velocity. Uh, and then we're just going to want to change the velocity dot y component uh, to be equal to our jump velocity. Oops. Uh, and let's multiply that by a vector 2 dot up. So we jump up. Uh, and then lastly we're just going to reassign this modified velocity to our player's actual velocity. There we go. Oh, actually, since yeah, since this is the dot y component, we're expecting a float. We don't need the vector two. Uh, yeah, so just need that. And now, if we go back into play mode and jump on an enemy, whoops. Well, I got hit by that one. Jump and boom. There we go. So there you have it. You can kill the enemies and they can kill you. Perfect. That is it for this part of the tutorial. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if it was helpful. I hope it was. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all that stuff to get the latest updates whenever I publish a new tutorial video. And um, yeah, that's it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.